We're for major events. We don't go out every day, we don't go out every week, we don't go out every month. But when it's real, real bad, that's when they call the urban search and rescue team. We combine all the teams and form one major team. We've done this four or five times in the past, but we've never practiced as a team. We now have 17 and we are going to get as many members from the seven teams as possible together and train together before an event so we can bring up issues and, and learn each other's foibles and habits and things like that. We have an earthquake that has struck a town called Beauregard and uh, the earthquake has caused severe damage throughout the area. In our, our task force has been assigned a sector to search in that sector is a three-story residential structure, a, a shopping mall with a parking garage, a hospital with a parking garage, an elementary school and a warehouse. The team is gonna go out and conduct a reconnaissance to get real-time information, conduct the search as I just mentioned, and once they find the victims, they're gonna start extricating. At the same time, the uh, this task force itself is gonna have, as I mentioned, its own management and support team, and there's going to be an incident support team, which is a management team for the task force that kind of ties the task force in with the local responders that we are working for at every incident we go to. As far as search goes, we have technical search cameras, which are rotating cameras on a stick with LED lights that we can stick into a rubble pile and visualize 10, 15 feet down into the rubble pile. We have canines, that are highly trained and, and highly experienced um, that can sniff, uh, can sniff out live or human remains uh, in a robopile. They're trained to find human scent that they cannot see. We have a listening device that can hear uh, a faint heartbeat 100 feet away from the sensors and we can place the sensors 100 yards away from the main unit. Uh, we also use UAVs, uh, drones. Uh, as far as rescue, we can breach anything out there, concrete, unreinforced masonry, steel, wood. We have the tools and the training to do that. The rescuers are also trained in rope and confined space rescue, trench rescue, as well as structural collapse, which is the main. We also conduct water rescues, and the, fellow, and the folks are trained for that. It's, uh, it's something I wish a lot of states had. Um, you know, it's, it's starting to culminate now and it's coming together, coming together really nicely. The assets are out there and uh, I think it's a real good idea that, that you know, we all work together, expect to have trainings like this and everything else. We, we can build bonds and uh, I think the, state, the state's going to benefit from it quite a bit. There's an old saying that when the, when the public gets in trouble, they call the fire department. When the fire department gets in trouble, they call the rescue squad. When the rescue squad or a state gets in trouble, they call an urban search and rescue team. We're available for anything that any agency needs in the state. Um, uh, anytime there's a big event that overwhelms local responders, we're ready to respond immediately.